I just wanted to take a second before this video starts and thank all of you guys. You guys have been liking, you guys have been commenting, you guys have been watching, you guys have been subscribing. In fact, I hadn't had a chance to thank you for 100 subscribers. We're already at 200, so thank you for that. And please do continue to subscribe, like, and comment. Hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, fellas, back out on the range with something a little different. This is a Rossi. Uh, what is this again? Rio Bravo. That's what the name of this is. It's a little lever action 22. Just got my hands on it. Uh, excuse the gunfire because we are on a range today. But uh, we're going to do a little bit of a torture test. I got a box of Federal 22 LR here. And we're going to see if we can make this thing break or if it will. So let's put the first rounds ever through this brand new rifle and see how it does. Put my ears in before I go deaf. Not from this, but from the other gunfire. Start with the lever down. Come back to the rear here. Turn this and pull it out until you see there's a little gaff right here. That keeps you from putting your hand in front of the muzzle. Then just drop rounds in. If I can get them in, there you go. Just like that. Excuse the wind, it is a windy day. Start with six, I feel like that's a good, good number to start with. This does hold 15, 22 LR. We're really gonna do six to start. So, let's see how she runs. Not a single issue. All right, fellas, this is our group. It's a pretty big six inch group down to the right. Got a few stragglers up here. Uh, not really proud of this group. I'm gonna see if I can do a little bit better. All right, fellas, in the sunlight, it is what it is, but I've got a bunch more ammunition in my Rossi Rio Bravo. Let's see how she does. See if we can get some pretty cool shots of this thing. The issue is, I don't know where to hold with this thing. Kind of figuring that out now. I gotta say, I am loving this rifle. All right, fellas. Well, I think I figured it out. This rifle shoots to the right a little bit, but I, look at that, I hit the bull. Not bad, not bad at all. I think I just gotta play around with the sights a little more, just get used to them. And then I think with a little bit of Kentucky windage, I should be able to get that in the center. This thing is really cool. I gotta, I'm not gonna lie. This makes me want more lever action rifles. It's just so, so nice, so smooth. And for $330, you really can't beat it. Let's put a little more through it here. And one thing I wanna say about this rifle is that it does, it's advertised as being able to accept 22 Magnum as well as 22 short. And I think it the, the tube says 15 rounds of 22 LR. So make of that what you will. We don't have any of the other calibers. Maybe one day we'll bring some along. But today, it's just 22 long rifle. All right, let's try it again. And I don't think I've had a single feeding issue at all. This Federal ammo, sometimes you get a few duds. Oh, yep, there, there's your dud. I knew it. You always get one. Of course, as soon as I say it, it happens. But other than that, 
rifle is performing exceptionally well, especially for the price point. Let's let it rip. All right, fellas, I just want to show you how to load this real quick. So you take this little stopper here. I don't know what this particular part is called, but you turn it to the right and then it unlocks itself and you pull it out. Not all the way like I just did, but enough to where you can see through this little cutout in the tube. And then you just slide your rounds on in and then you pull your tube down and then turn it and lock it. And that's it. I have literally put all the rounds of 22 in this box through this rifle and I have had no malfunctions. The only times I've had an issue was two duds and that is the fault of the ammunition, not the rifle. I checked the primers, they were both struck. It is what it is. This rifle's flawlessly performed today. So I, I can honestly say I recommend it if you're looking for a, a gateway into lever action shooting, this rifle it's perfect. It's well within a reasonable price point, so if you don't enjoy shooting it, you know, you're not out too much. It is what it is. There's one thing I wanted to show you guys, and that is this slight gouge in the forend here. And that is because there is a metal little nut inside of this rubber barrel band, and it stuck out a bit farther, so when I slid it back on, it chopped up the wood pretty good. So, the one recommendation I'll make to you guys is there's no reason to take this front forehand off unless you're having an issue where you need to remove the tube or the barrel. Otherwise, leave it on. Future Mike here. I've had a few days since shooting the Rossi Rio Bravo at the range, and I gotta say, I highly recommend this rifle. In fact, the footage you're watching right now was after I put about 200 rounds through it. I figured, why not? Let's. I got an extra box of 325 rounds. Let's just Let's torture test this thing. Let's put 500 plus rounds through this on its first day without cleaning it first. Like I just pulled this rifle straight out of the box, took it to the range, and it worked. For a budget lever action rifle in 22, for $300 essentially for this rifle, you really can't beat it. I mean, you're going to not get the same fit and finish and quality as you would with a Henry or a Marlin. But in terms of functionality, reliability... And let's be perfectly honest, the fit and finish of this rifle is not bad at all by any standards. It, you know, it's not the same as a Henry, but it's not bad at all. This rifle is perfect for all sorts of things. I mean, you could teach somebody new to shoot. You could get kids interested in shooting and teach them firearm safety and proper shooting techniques. You could be a person in your late 20s like I am and just... There's only so much high caliber rounds I can fire before I'm just like, all right, I'm bored with this. But I, could, I sat there and shot 500 rounds through this lever action. Just because it's different, and I had a blast. This rifle's fun for all ages, honest to God. So, if you're in the market for a budget 22, I wouldn't give this a second thought. This rifle performed perfectly. I put 500 rounds through it, and one malfunction, I short stroked the lever a little bit, got a round that uh, failed to feed properly. Quick remediation, and I got the rifle. Uh, excuse me, I got the rifle back up and running within minutes. Pretty much it for my end, fellas. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, keep an eye out on the channel. I'm going to have a video showing you how to field strip this thing and just clean it. Because I, I haven't seen any on the internet for it yet, and I figure it'll probably be helpful to all you people out there who own one. So if you enjoyed this video and you like it, drop a sub, drop a like, leave a comment. If you have one of these rifles, let me know how you like it. I, I love this thing, honestly. 500 rounds in and I already love it. Hope you guys have a good day, and peace.